So hello and welcome to this uh, first tutorial uh, on Gaia Sky. Uh, this is uh, the first of a series of tutorials I will be creating on Gaia Sky and especially how to use the tool. Uh, and uh, I will be probably uh, talking about what's possible, what's not possible. I'll go over the key bindings, I'll explain how to achieve things, uh, etc. So, uh, in this uh, first tutorial, I uh, want to um, explain a bit how to create this um, star field time lapse effect. Uh, this is looking at a certain region of the sky and letting the stars move uh, over the span of several thousands of years. So, um, let's start. Uh, the first thing that we want to do is uh, launch Gaia Sky, and that would uh, bring up a view like this. Uh, we are currently locked uh, on the Earth and the first thing we want to do is probably to change the camera mode to free mode because uh, Guy Sky starts by default uh, with focus mode on. So to do that we will use U to open this um, control panel and then Alt C would open the camera pane and here we have a drop down um, which is the camera mode and we can just select free and that would uh, set our camera free we can also use um, shortcuts a keyboard shortcut so one puts us in uh, focus mode zero would uh, put us in free mode and the rest is uh, game mode like higher mode etc but these are not so important so just keep in mind that the numbers um, our shortcuts for, for different camera modes. Okay, so now we have our camera free. Uh, the next step is to um, remove the unwanted objects. So we'll be looking at a certain region in the sky and the last thing we want is uh, to have uh, planets or orbits uh, flying through our field of view uh, and rain everything. So um, what we want to do is to remove some of the object types and to do that we will use Alt B that would open the type visibility pane here and we'll remove uh, for example orbits as you can see they are disappearing already here in the scene also the moons you see the moon is gone planets the earth is gone mars is gone and maybe also the labels uh, and you can see all of the star labels are now gone and that gives us a clean view of uh, the sky so uh, next is uh, finding the right uh, field so to do that you can for example bring up an equatorial grid with shift q and as you can see here in red we see this grid and that may help in um, the positioning otherwise we can also use uh, for example um, shift c which uh, would bring up the constellation lines so for this tutorial I will settle, um, yeah, I'll, I'll probably settle uh, for this region which contains uh, Hyades and the, the, the Hyades and the Pleiades. And we will now adjust the field of view which is basically how much of the sky you see. So using this uh, slider here which, which uh, says field of view, you can bring it up to open the field of view and you can um, bring it down to close it. So uh, I'll probably go for something like 15 uh, degrees. I'll move this a bit with my um, left mouse button dragging on the screen. I'll use shift uh, and left mouse button to roll a bit. So I think that's uh, perfect. Okay, so I'll remove the grid with shift Q. I'll remove the constellation lines with shift C. And I'll close the camera pane because we don't need that anymore with Alt C. I'll close the visibility or the type visibility pane with Alt V. And we want to look at time now. So, okay, Sky um, starts with uh, time off by default, but we can uh, start it with space. So, as you can see here, there's a times one. This means that time in the simulation is running at the same pace as uh, time in the real world. We can use uh, plus, not plus, we can use um, dot and colon to increase and decrease the speed. So now I'll press dot and you can see here there's a times two. This means that time is now um, going twice as fast. 
we can also use this plus uh, sign here to increase and this minus here to decrease. So what I'll do now is uh, I'll just use dot to increase it a lot. And at some point you will see the planets here in the minimap start to move because we are going so fast that the planet's uh, movement is uh, noticeable. So I'll just keep going. Now it's already crazy for the planet, but the stars, um, we don't even see uh, any thread of movement. So I'll just keep going. And at some point we'll see that the stars start to move. So I think this is a good speed. Okay, I'll stop time with space. I'll reset it to the current date and time with uh, control R, this uh, resets time. And now we're almost ready. Uh, last thing we need to do is to remove the user interface to have a clean view. Uh, we do that with uh, control U. And now we can just start the simulation with space. And that uh, starts time, and as you can see, we have our nice uh, time-lapse uh, video, which we can record. Um, and it's already uh, happening in real time. Okay, so um, let's stop it. Let's bring up the um, user interface again and reset time. And one last thing I want to mention is um, in this tutorial, I've been uh, using um, keyboard shortcuts a lot. Usually, uh, most of the actions that you can do are bound to a keyboard shortcut, but not all of them are. So whenever you're wondering whether an action is uh, bound to a shortcut, you can just um, go to the settings dialog here and go to the controls tab. And here there's a listing of all the actions and the uh, shortcuts. So uh, with this, I would uh, conclude my um, first tutorial of uh, Gaia Sky. Thanks for watching.